We do start tonight with the fallout from a major shakeup at Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. New questions from the county after the CMS board gave Superintendent Ernest Winston the boot this afternoon. The county leaders who helped pay for his contract want answers in stability from the district. WCNC Charlotte's Hunter Sign shares what commissioners called for tonight. Tonight, county leaders who vote to help fund CMS with your taxpayer money say this had to be a hard decision to come to for the school board, but they agreed Ernest Winston had to go. Just hours after CMS school board members voted to fire Superintendent Ernest Winston in these chambers. We have not arrived here easily. County commissioners speaking out in the room above the dramatic vote. Well, I'm not disappointed and I'm not shocked. Commissioners Vil Malik and Pat Cotham agree change was needed. When you put a man in a job who has no idea what the job is, what success do you expect? I'm always rooting for, for the things to be right, and so I, I hope this is a, you know, a good thing. The school board fired Winston for convenience, saying there were no grounds for firing him for cause. But in a personnel report, the board argued Winston fell short in his leadership by a slow response to improving students' success and outcomes in the classroom, his handling of sex assault cases at schools, and a slow response to safety measures after several guns were found on multiple campuses during his tenure. The facts will speak for themselves and I'm astonished that others are celebrating right now when it has nothing to do with you. But many school board members applauded the man who led the district through a pandemic. He cares about our kids, all of them. Ernest gave us his best. But his best just wasn't good enough. And now county commissioners who give millions of dollars to CMS are watching closely for change. I want to see some results immediately, some changes. You need to go in HR and get busy. I hope that that they really take the time to find the right person. It's not clear if there will be a national search or a local search for a permanent replacement, but when I asked Commissioner Leak for her opinion about that, she said, quote, I'm not sure you can take anybody from CMS because they didn't do anything yet, adding there's no sugar in that pudding. In Uptown, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte.